Hey everybody, it's Jeff here with NVIDIA Games back for another episode of Feature Friday. We're playing through The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo, and we left off last time doing the Eastern Palace, uh, I think that's the name of this level, I can't remember, the very first level in the game, and we're going to be doing the second level in this episode, so let's get started and check it out, see how things go. So we're going to make our way over here to the left to get an item. Which is in here. Sorry for the delay in posting this. I had family plans yesterday and the past few weeks I've been busy as well. So I've been behind on videos, but we're back and doing them. So here we go. You are correct, young man. I am Sahasrala, the village elder and a descendant of the Seven Wise Men. What? Link, I'm surprised a young man like you is looking for the Sword of Evil's Bane. Not just anyone can use that sword. According to the tales hand on down by the Hylia, only the hero who has destroyed three great evils and won three pennants can wield the sword. I see you've acquired the pennant of courage. I will tell you about the legend behind it. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of the Hylia. Hylia, whatever. These Knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War against evil that took place when the Seven Wise Men created their seal. Among the descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see, Link. I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants. And carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the Wise Men. I want you to have it. You do the Pegasus Shoes. Now you can execute a devastating dash attack. Hold the A button for a short time. A helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Get it. And this is what it looks like when you use the Pegasus shoes. Once you dash, as the game said. And you can um, use it on cracked walls like that, some of them. The ones that are really cracked. Got some rupees here, 100 to be exact, and some bombs. The ones that are only partially cracked, you have to use bombs on. You can't use uh, the Pegasus shoes. I mean, you can, but it'd be a waste of your time because it's not going to work to open the door. Oh, yeah, I want to switch the boomerang. I like keeping the boomerang equipped by default. I don't accidentally waste the bombs or arrows that way. And plus, it comes in handy if I want to stun an enemy. Or retrieve distant items. So we're going to make our way to the second level here. Come on, man. But there's an item we have to get before we do that. Uh, that is remembered. Because we won't be able to get into the second level if we don't have that item. Do I need that? Oh, I got two already. I don't need it. Full health. Do, do, do. Oh. The guy hit me. Jerk. Alright. We're at the screen. Well, almost. Where the item is. Don't know if I did that already or not. I did. The heart piece that's available here as well. There's our enemy. Use the of shoes to knock it off the bookshelf. You found the Book of Medora. You can use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. It may be pronounced Hylia, and maybe Hylia, I'm not sure. I'm going to guess it's Hylia because it's pronounced Hyrule, not Hyrule. So that makes sense, right? Anyways, now we can go to level two. So let's head that direction. Pegasus shoes obviously makes it so you go a lot faster toward your intended destination. Let me just 
do that. Or that. Alright, take it, thief. Those guys will chop out the grass in random locations and we'll give you items when you cut the grass underneath them. Now what I'm going to do right here on the screen is optional, you don't have to do it. You can do it later in the game. But uh, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm not skipping that treasure chest for now, I have to come back. You can't get it and do this at the same time, you have to do them separately. You pull this lever here, it opens the floodgate. The other one just drops bombs, so you don't need to worry about that one. And that lowers the water outside, as you can see. And there's a heart piece. You found a piece of heart, your heart level increased. These fish, if you pick one up and go to the next screen and throw in the water, it'll give you rupees. 20, I believe, to be exact. Oops, I killed that guy instead of making him in the grass. Now I can go back in and get the treasure chest here. It's just bombs, so... Not critically important, but helpful, I guess. Give us a fairy at a time. Sometimes they'll give you red rupees, sometimes fairies, sometimes hard, sometimes... Um, I guess that's about it. Usually one of those three. Sometimes nothing. Alright, there's some more hard pieces on this particular part. If I can do this correctly. Oh. Alright, shouldn't have gotten in there, that was garbage. Heart pieces in here. Somewhere, pretty sure. Talk to this guy, what's he gotta say? Aha! It is the Book of Medora. With it, you can read the language of the Highly people. Yeah, I already knew that. Told me that when I got it. That's one of those cracked walls I was mentioning. Uh, one type of them. There's three types in the game, I think. That type that we saw earlier with the that we got with the Pegasus shoes, and a third type we haven't seen in this episode yet. But that type you cannot open with the Pegasus shoes. You have to use bombs. And there's our heart piece in the treasure chest. There's another one here on this particular screen as well, but we can't get to it until we go into the level itself, so we we'll do that now. To open the way to go forward, make your wish here and it will be grand. So if you just try to read it without it, it'll just uh, be, without the book, it will be the Hylian text. Indecipherable. With the book, you can open the way. Like we just did. I'll go on that. It's fantastic to kill all of them at one, one shot there. That'd be most statues in this level. path through here without referring to any maps. So you learned that trick for getting the book in the door, and now we use it in this level to get a key. That was on that torch brazier there. That's just the compass or map or something up there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, worry about that. Alright, rubies. Hear that noise? That's coming from one of the next rooms, so we're going to be headed that direction, because we have to. And this is the map of Compass, normally. Not sure which one it is, but we're in here. Compass. This is the room that was making the noise you heard earlier. There's things on the walls shooting cannonballs. Big key is in this room. We need to access the levels of boss. And we 
also need the big key to open the big treasure chest as well, which has the dungeon item in it, which is where we're headed now. So if I switch there, here's a big treasure chest. You have the Power Glove. You can feel strength in both hands. You can pick up and carry stones now. Power Glove, it's so bad. <laughs> oh man. Oh, the movie. It's cheesy, but it's uh, called Classic. That's from The Wizard, if you've never seen it. Uh, look it up. It's in the uh, early 90s. That's so when that originally released, I believe. I saw it in theaters when I was a kid. I mean, what, what a kid that was a Nintendo fan didn't see that movie. The door up there, there, there's some fairies in there you can get if you need them. I don't need them though, so I'll so skip them. And there's our heart piece down here. If you do the dash there with the package shoes, make sure you let go of it so you don't accidentally go off the cliff, otherwise you have to go back through the whole level again. I've done that before, that's all I know. So there you go, you need the power glove to pick up the stones there to enter the second part of the level. I don't remember which side it is. There it is. It's that side for this one. You don't have to worry about the tiles there. Just get the key out underneath the pot and leave. Gotta kill these purple guys in this room. And dodge the Beemos statue. I don't want to kill him in here, but I usually do just because these guys tend to drop rupees and it comes in handy. We already have enough for the item we need uh, to get. We need 500 to get a certain item. So, but I'm going to go ahead and get more anyway, just because. You can carry up to 999 in this game. So might as well, right? There's the next key. And we're already up to the boss. Well, almost. Looks like a dead end here, right? Eh, wrong. It is not. Light these torches with your lamp. Lantern, whatever you want to call it. And the wall starts shaking and it moves away. You're going a door. The boss door, to be something more specific. There it is, top left. This boss, you can use bombs or arrows, or both, or just your sword. In my opinion, it's hard to hit with bombs and arrows, so I usually just use a sword. Oh, got hit there. But I have done it with bombs and arrows before. Like I said, though, it's hard to hit. And you tend to get hit more by the rocks when you do that as well. Or the boss. <laughs> so I've gotten it twice already. Once by the rocks, once by the boss. And again by rock. I think that fairies. I have another one. I'm going to go there. Hurry up, go on. I have to kill all three of them to win. There you go, got two of uh, three, one more. The uh, third one, when he comes out, I'll do rocks in all directions there, as you saw. Very easy to get hit by those, you know, careful. And you have the boss there. Two more, so it's a good thing. I was almost dead. I thought I'd do it two fairies. Another second pendant! Yeah! You won the pendant of power. Your goal of finding three pendants is in sight. 
I think that's a mistake. It should be dependent on wisdom because wisdom is always blue in Zelda and power is red. I think Nintendo made a typo there. And they must not have caught it before they did the final retail version of the game. Go for the last one. But it causes the power in this game, so that's what we'll refer to it as. Even though it's it should be wisdom. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Feature Friday. We'll be back next week with another episode, and we'll be doing the third dungeon in that episode. So thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget you can subscribe to us here on YouTube. We post videos throughout the week, as well as the recorded versions of our live streams from Twitch. And you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash nvideogaming, or on Twitter at twitter.com slash nvideogames. And you can check us out on the web at nvideogames.com for Nintendo news, screenshots, trailers, and lots more good stuff. So thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Game on.